Not gonna lie, I have no idea what we're doing. Oh yeah, now I remember. Wasn't I up there? Get the feeling I was up there, I'm not gonna lie. Can't I just... Yes, I can. I'm being very careful. Like I said, this gives me, um... DK64 bonus stage vibes. Not, like, welcome to bonus stage, the bonus stages. Some of them. Like the... Uh, what am I talking about, Jesus? I was talking about, um... God, what was I talking about? <laughs> Why was I talking about the DK64 bonus stages? Welcome to bonus stage. It was, um... God, we had to jump up here, right? Oh yeah, I already did this. That little lore moment. Here I go. Do I have to make this? I can, so evidently yes. And then what? This? No, uh, probably not. Doesn't seem like it. Oh fun, we're going back to doing the, uh, you have to, you have to shoot something in the air kind of platforming. I had never played Scout in TF2, and if I did, I would be bad at him. So this is going to suck real bad. Oh cool, I can just kind of, nice, 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 nice. So, what else is there to be said, I wonder? Not much, really. Um... Is there something right here that I can land on? Yes, there is. And I was very precariously landing on it. I'm quite surprised that I did land on it. This is going to become very important. The ability to see, I guess. Not see as much as, like, just land properly. Um, the ability to grapple to ground is going to be very important. But, you know, um, anything I need to, oh, of course, oh my gosh, uh, <laughs> oh, I was on ground, oh, I am on ground, okay, can I jump up to here, no, okay, that's fine, that's perfectly peachy, because I'm on something, which was odd for this game. But, okay. Oh, thank god, it resets me. No, let me land on it. I'm so glad it resets me, though, honestly. It's refreshing that something will actually let me restart from a checkpoint. Alright, let's see if I can cheese this. Because there are, there are freaking stalactites on the, on the ceilings. Mirrors on the ceilings. Um, it's kind of hard to look at. Not look at, but like, there's something over there, but there's also something over here. Probably a secret. Yeah, it's a secret. Look at this machine. I haven't been finding all of them, which is sad, because this game doesn't exactly look very big. I'm never sure about some of the things. Another one of Fred's campsite, noticeably newer than the others. The fire <laughs> was still smoldering. Ooh, I'm getting closer. Pick up the smell of the aftershave he always used. <laughs> I was closing in on him. I could feel it. I could the feel it. Was behind that I could use to repair my boots. Oh, that's nice. That should do it. Good as new. Now I can use my boots again. How wonderful. I am still unable to grapple to ice though, which is going to be a problem. Not one that is unsolvable, but definitely a problem. I am going to fall. Yep, yeah I knew it. Hmm, today I will fall.
Let's go. I'm a genius. It's like, why wouldn't I just use the boots for every single jump? You know, I guess they wanted us to go in between the crags. No. <laughs> why in all hell would I do that? When I can just jump on top of these blocks. Okay, evidently that down there is one reason why. There's a secret down there. Seems like, it looks like. Let's check over here. Yeah, yeah, way down there. Why did I do this to myself? Good. Oh, I did what? Hold on. I'm <laughs> beam color. Okay, cool, man. Absolutely. I've got green beam now. You just got beamed. Dude, that's pretty cool actually. Okay. I wasn't expecting the beam color achievement. Not achievement, but unlockable, but you know. Please, please, please. Okay, this is what the boots are for. When the beam just won't get you there. Just got beamed. I already made that joke, but I'm going to make it again. Oh god, here's gonna here's the part that's gonna suck. I can already tell. This is gonna be bad. Alright. I apologize in advance that this video is going to be very long. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot I can use my boots again. Please? No, I'm supposed to save my boots, I guess. Am I ever gonna... Okay, there we go. Alright. There are only actually three rocks, so... I should be able to just... Boof. Yeah. And then... Oh god, I might have missed... No, no, not quite. Just, just enough. Buried beneath the ice, you could still see signs of what this place had once been. Something not unlike the caves where the village lay. The ice age must have come suddenly. Washington Interesting. Like a freezing tsunami. Now it lay desolated, haunting anyone who dared visit with falling stalactites, sharp icicles, and its bottomless depths. Why am I in the ice? This is much lower angle than normal. So this is gonna suck real bad. Oh, you know what? Not actually. He did mention falling stalactites, I gotta say. I should have been paying attention <laughs> to the story about his uncle. Maybe, I don't know, it might have something to do with this game. <laughs> certain bits of the story about a, a certain uncle. I don't know, there might be something there. Hmm. Anything else? Yeah. Watch, this is going to be something that I can't grab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, great, T puts me back here, of course. This is going to be close. <laughs> or not. Or so. Yeah. It was it was close. I told you it would be close. Just kind of like I thought I would actually make it. You know, I might... You know, okay, yeah, I'm definitely trying that. Hold on.
There's this little bit right over here. Seems to have a secret on it. Oh, wonderful. It's just a snowman. Interesting. Um, what's the point? No clue. I'm not going to say the possible name of the snowman. Okay, nobody should ask me to do that. I would not wish that upon anybody else. Please make it. Yep. Welcome to the game, fellas. Are we not going to mention this? Are we not going to talk about that? Really? Wow. I would have figured he'd have something to say about that. Oh god. It's gonna be fun. Wow, I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised that I made that jump. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yep, ceiling again. And I have to use my boots to get up there, I guess. Oh, of course I didn't actually, of course I didn't actually hit the frickin' We're going this direction. What, okay, that, oh my gosh. I have never actually had Seasons After Fall level input lag in my story about my uncle until now. That has never happened before. But hey, now it has, I guess. That's fun. I do wonder about some of the other unlocks. I haven't gotten them yet. Yep, this is what the boots are for. I just went through the stalactite. Okay, yeah, I know what I'm supposed to do now. God, why does it do that? Where it's like super fast for no reason. It'll do it. It'll do it sometimes. I'm kind of surprised even they even let me fix my boots, honestly. That uh, they're allowing that mechanic to keep happening. Seeing as they don't seem to actually really like it all that much. They haven't made puzzles around the uh, building, the using of the boots. Actually, honestly, they haven't used a lot of things. You know, I think it might be the lag that's making this game run in my favor. Oh, am I? Of course I'm back here. Jeez, it's the physics engine is is killing itself very slowly. It's kind of sad to watch, really, because I know it's happening. It's not actually a slow process by any means, any meaning of the word. It is not a slow process by which this physics engine is dilapidating and just kind of dying right in front of my eyes. Um, but, uh, what can you do? What am I looking for? What am I aiming for here? This over here? Wasn't I just here? Was this the area that I was just at, or what? Evidently not. Where am I going? <laughs> Kind of uh, not very clear. I'm not going to lie. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Normally there'd be like a passageway or something. I guess over there? Didn't I come from over there? Came from over there. Weird stuff. Let's just keep kind of going in directions. Okay, I read myself up against a wall. And that did not help. 
you you really have to like pulse it on the stalactites because they are not they are not in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're freaking thin as hell, so you can't really. It's hard to grab them. I'm probably gonna end the episode like in the middle of this. Maybe, 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 maybe. I might actually get headway. So no headway? Like, where am I going, man? Over here, yeah. This is the area from earlier that I was just at. Alright, just making sure. So I was right. Um, from here I go over there. Do I hit the ceiling from here? No, I don't. Alright, just making sure before I do something probably stupid that will end in my death. Yeah, okay, boots time. Can I not? There we go. Please? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like for all of the kind of auto aim kind of moments, this game kind of sucks me. With lag at times. What if I just went through here without ever touching ground? Because there are crystals on the walls. So I could totally do it. If I wanted to commit suicide. That's probably not a word I'm allowed to use. Imagine being used, allowed to use the S word. Which is to say suicide, not like shit or anything, you know. Why would somebody say shit? Can I please? Shit. Anyway, on the next episode of A Story About My Uncle, this area, goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.